Cafe you visit. Classy by the official after party of the Volunteer Brawl. Penis Cafe. Your revenue was about women to be nearly. Is it first? Fighting in the red corner. We're going to three wins, two losses. Six feet tall, we're going to win. Five, three, six pounds. We're going to get in the Knoxville Disney. Three Lightweight action here between Slick Nick Gertz and Nick Haymaker Baker. Slick Nick Gertz in the black trunks, Haymaker is in the red trunks. Interesting fight. We've got a, a well rounded fighter, Nick Gertz, against a very wild puncher, Nick Baker. Joined by my co host here, John. Thank you, Adam. And immediately, Gertz going to what he does best and trying to clinch up and take this fight to the mat. Baker defending it so far. Uh, second bout here on the uh, televised broadcast here from the Volunteer Brawl here at the World's Fair Park in Knoxville. Nice venue. We're sort of undercover. That shot. Yep. That was it. He did his there. That was a close shot. Nick Baker apologize or Nick Gert, or Nick Gertz apologized, excuse me. Nick Baker's a tough kid. He's gonna get back up and fight out of this. He you must know, have got hit square. You know Nick uh Nick Baker was involved in a uh, uh, Stevie Hutton incident where he need Stevie Hutton in the manhood, and Stevie Hutton could not continue. So I definitely don't think that Nick Baker is going to be one of those guys that stops. He's ready to go. He's back up. He's Wasn't he? Uh, I believe his last kickboxing match had an epidemic of, of low blows as well. You know, it happened, man. It's, 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 some guys one, just like, can't understand it. It sounded like, sound like a whip crack or something <laughs> when he had that, that kick pad going off of the uh, the. the the growing region. Yeah. Looks like Nick's, uh, Nick, Nick Baker is about ready to go. The two Nicks, they're, they're going to confuse me this whole match. Uh, he didn't take the five minutes. Here we go. That's Don't show make... too much respect, Nick, because you know Haymaker will throw one. Good head movement, good movement from uh, Nick Baker. Good kick coming from Nick Baker. Nick Gertz in for a single leg. He's going to try to run the pop. Nice take down the fence thus far from Haymaker. This is where Baker wants this fight to be. He doesn't want to be clinched up against the cage. He wants to be out standing, trading, or on the mat, you know, delivering some ground and pound. Yeah. Well, he's, what, just, he's just not a grappler. No, he, he, you know, he's excited. Like I said, these are my two favorite amateurs, and they're fighting each other. Uh, and it's exciting because you never know what's going to happen with these two. Nick actually won the MMA Insider Comeback he's, Fighter of the Year Award last year. Uh, started out the year, I think, 0-4 in MMA. What happened? To Something. Oh, you can't do that. You can't stop. No, that's a horrible, horrible. He dropped his mouthpiece. That thing's got. A, he's got a hold. Bad news because uh, Nick Baker's hand is trapped, and and uh, Nick Gertz's left hand is free, and he's going to be throwing some punches with it. He's got a little bit of a hammer lock. Hammer lock is the hold in catch wrestling. Told you this is not a good place for him. He's got to get rid of that hand. Nick Nick Gertz controlling with that right hand and holding it down. This is going to open him up quick. We're going to half guard. Nick, Nick uh, Baker finally gets it loose. Now working a little bit in half guard here. We'll see what Nick goes for because Nick's got some slick submissions from everywhere. So Maybe we'll see our third Americana of the night. <laughs> Maybe. I usually see like one of those every two, three months. I think what Nick's gonna try to, uh, Nick Baker's gonna try to do is, is back himself up against the cage and try to stand up that way. Uh, he's really not implementing any kind of half guard escape. Um, what he needs to do is get a left underhook and shrimp out to his left side and, and come up that way on a on a on a single leg. So is it, it's his best strategy. I mean, given his skill set, just trying to basically tie this fight up on the bottom and uh, you know force him to stand up. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what Nick. Uh, he, he's been throwing punches from the bottom, and, and like I said, he's making his way to the cage. Maybe it won't take too much time to get up and get up. Hard elbows from Nick Gertz. Uh, Nick uh, Gertz going for a can open to try to pass. What's the up kicks though? Because them can be very devastating. 
You've taken some step up kicks in your day. Oh, yeah. Ten seconds, player. Nice pass. Slick, slick move from Slick Nick Gertz. I see what you did there. End of, uh, end of the first round. Uh, Nick Gertz, all kind of uh, sportsmanship, helping me take her up. Very close. Oh, boy. This is the thing that we don't want to happen for Nick Gertz. He's over there puking in his corner. Uh, he's done this many times before. He's lost a few fights for this simple reason. Uh, so, I don't think Nick thought the crowd was uh, cheering for him, but I think it was for the woman. Nick Baker's got to come out and throw some hard punches this next round. That's, that's what it he looks has like to Nick do. Baker might be lacerated, actually, on his, on his head, up near his scalp. He took a lot of punches that la the last round. So. It's, it's, oh, yep. Uh, that was a pretty slick move right there by uh, by Justin Fisher because that bag did not come open on its own. Justin Fisher is a much better professional MMA fighter no, than he is an ice bag that, holder. That ice bag did not come undone by itself. That was a that was a premeditated ice bag slip to give Nick Young uh, some more time. I saw it. Happen. So I guess they're worried about him throwing up. He still got the bucket. He's still puking. And that's exactly what he's done. They done it. He's done that. That's like a thing with him. Yes. I mean, if you puke, you lose. It's a weird rule, but I can understand. I don't want to be in there. No. Throw up fast. He's got a little piece of his chin. Is it disgusting? Is it nerve? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I make you eat. I guess you'd be eating light before a fight if you had a, that tendency. That was a very slick move, though, by, by the corner. <laughs> Gertz, I'm telling you, guys. Baker looks like he's ready to just come charging out here. Yep. Nick Baker's got his hands down. He's breaking his hands up. I don't know what what the – what the uh, What's going on what, here? I, I don't know. Interesting strategy. Good kick. Two hard punches from Nick uh, Baker. Nick Baker is probably one of the hardest hitters in the 45-55 weight class. I will say in this region. He hits hard. He kicks hard. Ooh, those do not feel good whatsoever. Oh, goodness. What's the, what's the, he can't heel hook, but he can get an Achilles. He might transition to an arm bar, trying to come up, trying to take his back. If he can get his, his right leg out, he'll take the back of uh, Nick Baker. Nick Baker had the cage for a second. Nice reversal from Baker. Baker is definitely cut up on his, uh, his hairline there. Well, you know that happened before the fight. You know, did you know that? It did. Okay. But uh, we'll see if it, if, it, if it busts open. You know, most, most fighters, I don't care who you are, pro, amateur, they're not going to take a fight if they got to cut a week out. You know, he got to cut like five days out from a fight, and he's still a tough dude and took the fight. Nick Gertz passing the mount now. Uh, you know, Nick Baker's got to push on the hips and get a hip escape here and, and really get Nick Gertz off top of him and not give up an arm in the process because that's what it looks like that Nick uh, Gertz is going to be going for. Yeah, Gertz with some good hard turn right right of his own. Nick Gertz looking over here at me. Watch the fingers and the eyes. Watch the, watch the arm bar coming from Nick Gertz with the arm triangle possible. Baker still delivering some, some strikes from the bottom. Oh, yeah. Nick Baker's going to throw punches no matter where he's from. But he don't want to be on the bottom getting them punches from Nick Gertz. That's for damn sure. Nick, Nick <laughs> Baker spit all over one of the uh, people at cage side. Nick Gertz did. He's apologizing as we speak. <laughs> apologizing while fighting. You know, uh... What's the arm bars, uh, what were we saying? You know, hard punches from Nick. Complete domination from Nick Gertz at this point. Fun fact, you know, people say all the time, oh, I wish I was cage side at all these fights. It can get kind of gross Blood, at cage side. spit, snot, arm bar like I was oh. talking about, setting up. Does um, he have it? I don't know. We'll see. Toes out of the cage. He's going to try to. That's an interesting position for an arm bar. It is. Uh, you know, it, it's trapping the arm, but it, it's, it looks like, let me see if I can see. He's going back to it. Now he's got a triangle. It's a deep triangle. Deep triangle. Tap. It's over. Slick Nick Gertz with a triangle submission round number two. What a fight. What a fight. Very entertaining two. fight. Nick Baker's tough. Like I talked about before in, in, during the fight, you know, anybody that takes a fight with uh, five days from five days from the beginning of getting a cut, you know, they're, they're a tough guy. You know, they deserve all the credit in the world. Uh, Nick Gertz, uh, he's, he's still apologizing. To the photographer for spitting on her during the fight. Next time we think about it.
Pretty good stuff. I'm not surprised with the result, Gertz, with the submission skills. I kind of actually thought that was kind of be the factor. You know, the wrestling, the grappling, the submissions, it's just not the things that Nick Baker does best. I've seen him lose to Stephen New, a fighter we both know well. Kind of a similar deal there. Baker had a tough time with him. Uh, and by the way, if Gertz ever does go pro, I think that would be an excellent fight I'd like to see. Let's see Nick Gertz and Stephen New. That'd be good stuff. But uh, Nick Gertz is going to come out with the win. Cody Gwynn is going to give us the official decision in the time. When we return, Amy Coleman, Eva Johnson, state title. Oh, there we go. Sleep 